Hello and welcome to the United Stand, it's me Zara and I um, just want to start off saying that um, it was a great win on Sunday against Everton 1-0 to us, i say the first half was a bit boring second half the fight started when Herrera came on for Carrick and I think that's a great way to look forward to the next coming games I think it's great to have that win on board, those three points were really needed for us bring up the spirit of the club and I'm hoping you guys are looking forward to looking forward to the next few games as well. Um, this channel is for you guys so comment below let me know what you're thinking. I've got a few topics to talk about today. Um, one of the topics is um, which youth players will make it and which will not. That's coming on later in this. And then firstly what I talk about is the three players that you'd bring in in the summer. Now for firstly for me I would want to bring in Ross Barkley, Marquinhos and Kane. Sounds like absolute mad lot, but um, Ross Barkley, I think he really shown in the Everton match on Sunday. He's, um, we, we need like that sort of midfielder who, um, who is broad and who fights. and He wasn't phased by anything on that pitch. And We have players like Lingard who gets phased very easily. I mean, one touch at Lingard and he was out like a light. There was just... Lingard was trying, but he didn't. He doesn't have that that body build to actually go out and have a stance on the pitch like Barkley did. And then Marquinhos, I think he'd be great. I mean, right back. I think I think Rojo will go in the summer. I don't know about you guys. You let me know what you guys think. But I think after the Rojo's injuries, I think that's really knocked his confidence, and it's. That sort of confidence that's really going to hold him back. And if that holds him back, then I don't think he'll be able to get himself back. And I think he's a fantastic player. He has shown so much potential, but I think it's been, it's been put on a stop, that potential, due to all these injuries. And that's a shame, really, because I really had so many high hopes for him, but I just think for the next, next season to come, we need a fresh start, we need a... A clean slate and we need to go in fighting and I think with Rojo I don't think we will so I think Marquinhos would really do well and then like I said Kane no I want to know what you guys think because I think Kane would be fantastic we would never get him like but you know I think I think he's great I think he's now the top scoring Spurs player and he's just got a fantastic record he constantly trying to create chances he just doesn't stop he's a bit like Marshall in the sense that Marshall just doesn't stop neither does Rashford stop and we need people who don't give up who are persistent and always will pursue their chances and will always attempt to finish their chances we can't have someone who goes halfway and then goes oh you know what well, I'll just leave it and maybe next time I'll have a go no you need to have a pop straight away at that goal and do your best to create chances for the team not just for yourself and I think Kane is one of those team players I want to I want to know what you guys think what would, what would be your three players that you would bring in and I don't want to hear oh well I'd bring Messi I'd bring Neymar I'd bring Suarez because we'd never get them I know we said that we'd never get Kane but Kane's more likely than Messi <laughs> and then um, don't say Ronaldo please because the thing is with Ronaldo is that we've had him he moved on to pastures new and he's happy there I think that that legacy of Ronaldo at the club and I think we need to just get that out of our heads past his past like class of 92 is past his past I mean they they are insanely good and it's so hard to to duplicate that success at a club especially if Ronaldo ever came back to the club then I just think that he'd have too much like expectation behind him we'd expect him to bloody do hat-tricks every single game because of how much he has progressed and I just don't think that's we shouldn't expect that and then the next thing I want to talk about is like I said which youth players will make it and which will not now we did touch slightly on this on the watch along um, for the Everton match if you if you didn't see that um, me and Mark did um, a watch along it's um, a new thing that we're starting to do on the United stand where um, it's not a live stream nothing like that we just talk we discuss the match it's good for people who can't watch the match as well and um, we'll discuss it we'll tell you what's going on in the game but also in half time we have a nice discussion you guys get involved in the live comment box and that sort of thing so keep in mind for that when the matches are on but um yeah if we did touch on this of which youth players will make it 
we did speak about um, some of the players, but the players I'm going to talk about today is Borfit Jackson, Lingard, Wilson, Rashford and Pereira. All players have bundles of talent, but which ones will actually make it and which ones will not, in my opinion. Let's start off with Borfit Jackson. I think that he's a good player, I just think that he needs to move on. I think there's better people in the squad where we don't need Borfit Jackson. He's great as a backup when there's injuries, but I, I, don't, I don't see him cutting it. Next player, Lingard. I'd say with Lingard, Lingard is just a squad player. Now, that's going to cause some controversy because everyone's saying, oh, well, he's a, he's a Manchester lad. He's got this, he's got that, he's got this. Well, on the Everton match, I did notice that, like I said before, with... Lingard just going out like a light straight away. He'd just one little touch and he'd be down. Like he just can't help it. I mean, you can't blame the lad for the amount of effort he's putting in all the time. Like he is putting in effort, but it's just maybe if he was better built out, like for instance Luke Shaw went and he got seriously like he decided to go to the gym and make sure he had that stance on the pitch like I'm talking about and that worked for him. Maybe Lingard needs to do the same and maybe he won't be considered a squad player. But he'd be considered more than that and he'd seriously reach a potential. But at an age of, I think it's 23 or 24, just correct me on that. At that sort of age, you need to think of, well, you have players like Rashford who are 18 years old who who have, who just aren't phased whatsoever. And then you have Lingard. Some people in the comment box on the live watch long that we did, did say, oh, well, um, the thing is with Lingard, he's a young player and stuff, we've got to give him a chance. Well, he shouldn't really be classed as youth, to be honest, because he's 23 or 24. I mean, Rashford is he's youth. Rashford is youth, not Lingard. And Lingard shouldn't be phased about that. I mean, you have other players like Stones and that who aren't phased. Like, you can name a few players, they're not phased by it, whereas Lingard, you can see it is. He hesitates a lot, whereas... I know one thing is him um, drawing him out. You could see there was there's glimpses of him, no hesitation. He just goes for it. I think like in Everton, he passed a, he chipped over the ball to Martial, no hesitation at all. And I think it was great. When that happens, he's a great player. But I think for now, he just needs to be a squad player. And then the next player I want to talk about is Wilson. Now Wilson, I feel very strongly about. He had 15 appearances for United and three goals, and I think it was a terrible mistake to ship him off to Brighton and Hove Albion because he really showed potential. I mean, he stepped up to the plate when he was asked for it. I really liked Wilson and Rooney, the way they played off each other. And I think it was just bloody stupid. I mean, if you've got to think about it now, if Wilson was with us for this season, then he might have really shone like the way Rashford has. I think what we need to do is, I think, with Wilson, we need to... Keep him. Don't send him on. Don't send him on loan. Don't send him off to another club. Don't sell him. Just keep him at the club next season. See how he does. See whether he shines. See whether he takes every single opportunity that's thrown at him, and then just see where it goes from there. Analyze it afterwards. Don't analyze it at the end of this season because, to be honest, he's been doing well for Brighton Hove Albion. I think it's um, I think it's four goals in seventeen appearances. Correct me on that if I'm wrong as well. I think it is, and I think. I think that's great for Wilson because surely if I was Wilson I'd have my confidence knocked after doing my absolute best and then being put on loan because I don't think he deserves to be on loan at all. But yeah, that's what I think we should do with him. And then for Lingard, like I was saying, I think with Lingard I think we just need to keep him as a squad player. We can't put him we can't put him as a first team player all the time like what some people are saying. Just because he was I think it was his born on the Man United pitch, well good for him I could be born in the Man United pitch but you don't see me scoring hat tricks <laughs> that's just not how I see it the next player I want to talk about is Rashford now Rashford for me first team player hands down he has seriously shown himself this season this season has been Rashford's season he is on everyone's mind when you think of United you think to yourself the talent that he has is unbelievable and he's at 18 so he's not even reached his peak yet now that's what's really exciting about Rashford and then, I've said it before, he's he's not phased at all. I mean, he came out and scored on the derby. I mean, that is ridiculously talented. I mean, scoring on the derby, scoring on a normal match is 
is another thing. Scoring around a derby is a huge thing. I remember like Sky Sports News HQ were going absolutely crazy about it when that happened, and I don't blame them. It was just unbelievable. Oh, and then so Rashford, first team player for me. Let me know what you guys think. I'm sure you'll definitely agree with me on that. It, it, if you don't agree with me on that, then you've got something seriously wrong with you. <laughs> so the next one I want to talk about is Pereira. Now Pereira is a bit of a conflicting idea at the moment with a lot of you. For me, I think he's just been neglected. Completely, utterly neglected. You have players like, compare Pereira to Lingard, for example. And Pereira and Lingard, they're the ones that Lingard's had so many opportunities over and over and over again. When he's made a mistake, he's still played. Pereira hasn't even like had a chance. He made that mistake on um I think it was the Wolfsburg match and he wasn't given a chance again. Now I think that's wrong. I mean, we've seen it before when like other players have made a mistake, like Hernandez didn't score that penalty and then he got bloody shipped off. We we can't do that with Pereira, but to be honest, I think that's what's gonna happen to him and that that is what's really horrible when it comes to Pereira because he has so much potential, he's bundles of potential. He'll probably end up being a bloody next Pogba, whereas we sent off Pogba and now look at him now. This is what's probably going to happen to Pereira and it'll be our own fault because we've not pushed and pushed enough. This is this is our team, this is our club and as as fans we need to make a difference, we need to, sh we need to vent our thoughts and we need to rant on about who we want and why we want them and I want Pereira because of the bundles of potential that we haven't even seen yet we haven't even seen like full glimpses we have seen tons of glimpses from Lingard and everyone's like well yeah Lingard's great but he's a squad player I mean so if we're or if we're already establishing that fact why can't we give Pereira a chance we we need to give players like Pereira a chance so we can actually get clearer idea so it's not such an abstract idea as to when we go oh Pereira oh well um I'm not sure because that's what people are doing I know in an under 21 match I think it was Pereira and Yanazai played really well together and um, I read that in the Manchester Evening News I didn't actually go to it myself unfortunately but um apparently they played ridiculously well and then apparently they were doing some corner business and LVG didn't like that because he said there was too many corners so decided not to play them. Yanazai is another one I think I'd clash Yanazai as a squad player really because I it's, it's very difficult when it comes to Pereira and Yanazai because I don't think Pereira will be neglected and he'll move on to a different club and he'll be much more appreciated and then when it comes to Yanazai I think he Yanazai has done well, but I just think he needed to show himself even more. But maybe with more game time, he would have done that. And that gets me back to another thing about, like, with Lingard. I said Lingard gets so, so much game time, and then you have players like Yanazai and Pereira not getting game time. Let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I want to know which you players will make, will make it and which will not. That is the whole main thing that I want you to talk about. I will comment on the, on the box afterwards. I'll answer them as many as I can. Um, let me know if I've caused any controversy in any of these because it always makes me... I, I always want to know what you guys think, really. Because the only way we can actually know is that... No, The only way we can know about a clear idea about our players is if we actually discuss it ourselves, discuss about our experiences of what we've seen. That's the only way you can get a roundabout idea about Manchester United players because it's so difficult to actually see them play it, under LVG especially because apparently all the uh, worst players are, be are better off with LVG whereas the good players just get their potential thrown aside and they just get pushed to the back. I mean we've seen that with Fellaini for example, Fellaini's always pushed forward when he's one of the worst pl worst players currently at the moment. Let me know what you guys think, um, let me know what you think, think about um, the Everton game about the one that I think was great when that happened but it made me think of well it made me look at Barkley it made me think well what players do we want what players do we need to move on and what is the future for Manchester United players um, I'm looking forward to Spurs on Sunday looking forward to the lineup of that I think the lineup was better for the Everton match I really I think Blind was great for was great defending and it's uh, he's just bloody exhausted when he came off the pitch and let me know what you guys think about that 
just this is your channel the united stand is for you it's a channel for the fans by the fans and that's all that matters you create this and it wouldn't be a channel without you guys and um, love you guys i will speak to you soon remember three players that you'd bring in which you players will make it and which will not and i will comment to as many as you want uh, like subscribe comment let me know and if you want to talk to me personally it's at z underscore silverstone love you guys bye